We are coming off of a very violent holiday weekend here in Houston. At least a dozen homicides happening in the area. And so far this year, there have been 190 homicides in the city. There were 145 this time last year. So if you do the math, that's a 31% increase. Fox 26's Natalie, he spoke with a person close to one of the victims. You know, I got to stay strong. Ellis always tell me every day, be strong, don't cry. Angelia Roy is trying to stay strong after her husband, 33-year-old Ellis Harris, was shot and killed after a car wreck near the North Freeway. It happened around 4 p.m. last Friday. Ellis leaves behind a 7-year-old and a son he's never met. Angelia is six months pregnant. Because he didn't deserve that. He's a good person, very kind-hearted. Houston police believes nearby surveillance video captures the incident, but so far no suspects have been named. However, this is one of just 13 murders that happened this weekend alone. It's part of a larger issue of rising violent crime. As of Tuesday morning, HPD says there have been 190 homicides in the city this year. Compare that to 145 murders this time last year, a 31% increase. But the real issue is what are we doing with the people that we're catching? Are we releasing them? Are we doing catch and release? Are we doing catch and hold accountable? Houston City Council member at large and former police officer Mike Knox attributes the rising crime to the court system, backlogged because of the pandemic. He believes repeat criminals are only getting a slap on the wrist. Well, the police are arresting people regularly and often, and then they're, they're introducing them to the system, and the system is letting them back out. You know, six years ago, we were in a decline of all crime. What's changed is the quality of the judges that we have in Harris County. They've, they've taken this liberal idea that we should give people a second, third, fourth, 15th, 20th chance to straighten up, and the fact of the matter is they're not. As for Angelia, she says she has a suspicion of who's responsible. Eventually, it's going, everything's going to come to the light and that person will be caught. And that was our Natalie He reporting tonight. By the way, officials say that the best thing you can really do at this point is to stay alert, be aware of your surroundings. And if you believe that you're being followed, they suggest that you keep driving to a public place and not go directly home.